School districts do certainly pay close attention to the wind chills when making decisions on whether to delay or to even cancel classes. Bill Miston joins us now from the Fox 11 Ice Desk. He's been looking at how the experts from the National Weather Service predict what the wind chills and the weather will be. Michelle, that's right. And, you know, if it's a surprise to you that it's this cold out, consider yourself lucky to have not noticed this weather we've had over the past week or so. But every day, meteorologists at the National Weather Service try to predict the potential dangers this weather can pose to you and everyone else. So, so tonight, we take a closer look at some of the science behind forecasting what takes your breath away. And then as the cold air advances east, you can see those wind chills continue to drop. So you may have to increase those. Jeff Last is a meteorologist with the National Weather Service's Green Bay office. The federal agency is no stranger dealing with northeast Wisconsin weather. It puts out alerts, like watches and warnings, you can find on Fox 11's website. In fact, many school districts rely on those alerts to decide if school days become delayed, like in Green Bay Monday. By going for the two-hour delay would give us some time. Um, as the daylight came upon and started to warm up a little bit. And from there, it was supposed to just creep up throughout the day. Or called off completely. The minus 35 is, is really a starting point. Last says wind chills of minus 35 degrees is the threshold the agency uses to determine if it will issue a wind chill advisory or warning. Minus 20 to minus 35 gets an advisory. Anything lower is a warning. If we feel that for a few hours, it may get to minus 33 or minus 30 even, we're not going to downgrade to an advisory for that short amount of time. While the advisories may not have helped clearing your driveway free of snow from winter storm coal. I don't like winter. You live in Green Bay. I know, but <laughs> that was an accident of birth. <laughs> Last says the hope is to get word out about the potentially dangerous wind chill conditions through social media and television reports like this one. What we're really concerned about is the impact to ensure that uh, the public are safe in these frigid conditions. Forecasting those wind chill temperatures? We forecast the hourly elements, temperature, wind, humidity, sky cover. Can be a challenge. The challenge then now is the timing of the coldest air, how long it's going to be here, and of course the impacts on people. And that's where those wind chill advisories and warnings come into play. Now, as says, forecasting this cold weather is a completely different level of difficulty than having to try and forecast severe summer weather as those storms can occur very quickly and impact people nearly immediately.